Hi STEM families and welcome to our Saturday weekly STEM activity. Uh, today we're going to do something really simple but I think it looks quite cool when we try it out. So all you're going to need is a circular bowl and a couple of q-tips, some food colouring, some milk and some washing up liquid. And that's it. So we're going to make a pretty pattern using the milk and the food colouring. And then when we drop the uh, washing up liquid, if we put a little bit on the Q-tip, when we put that into the liquid, I want you to see what happens. It creates a really nice pattern. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's have a go then. So to start off with, you're going to pour a little bit of milk into your bowl. So you don't need lots, just a little bit is enough. And then, get your Q-tip, have it ready. So we're going to dip it in to our washing up liquid. Now you don't need lots and lots. We can always put more on if we need to. So we've got a bit of colour in there. And what do you think is going to happen when I place this in the bowl? Let's see. Okay, so we've made a circle. Well, I think red would work quite well, but I haven't got any red, unfortunately. So if you've got red at home, you might want to try it with red. Okay, this time let's try it with full fat milk and see what the difference is. So we'll pour a little bit on our plate. Just let that settle for a minute. Okay, let's put our Q-tip in the washing up liquid. Get that ready. And let's try again. So we'll try some green. Mm, it's moved already, hasn't it? Not doing very well with this. I think it might be my food colouring. It might be too watery. Yeah. We're not doing well. Oh, that might work. Let's put the blue on top of that. Okay, let's go for it. Well, that's quite a nice effect. See, it's making the milk move. See, it's still moving when I've taken it out. Let's see if we can make it move again. Yeah, that's quite a nice effect. So that's work, definitely working better with full fat milk. Let's put it in the middle, see if it does anything. Yeah, that's moving along. Can you see that? So I think our little experiment shows that it needs to be full fat milk and not semi-skimmed milk. It works much better. So that, does that give you a clue as to the reason why this is happening? Let's see if I can do another one. Okay, I think that worked quite well. This time, I'm going to try it with single cream and see if there is any difference. So we'll pour a little bit of single cream in. Okay, we'll let that settle 
Um, we'll get our washing up liquid ready. And I'm going to pour the food colour in this time. Let's see what happens. Okay, let's put some blue in and let's put some yellow in. And I'm going to try and see what happens now. It's starting. Can you see? Well, that's pretty cool. So see, it's moving it. Let's add some more. Let's add some more and see what happens. Let's try some there. See, it's starting to to move. So, which one do you prefer? I'm just let's see what happens. So it's still moving. Let's give it a shake, see what happens. Yes, I quite like this one. See, it's still moving. One last shake. Let's see what pattern we can make. So what you can do is at home, try different things. If you change one thing, that's how you can uh, make your experiment a little bit different. So you can try just changing one thing and see what difference it makes. Okay, well have fun everybody. I hope you can make some really nice patterns and I'm sure you can do much better than me. Bye bye.